Wow, it is pouring out here. What's the weather like where you are? Is it sunny or rainy? Here, we have lots of rain today. Let's go inside so I can read you guys some stories. Phew, okay, that's more like it. Nice and dry. I have three storybooks for you guys. The first one, Amelia Bedelia on the move. Get cozy and comfy and let's enjoy some story time. Amelia Bedelia on the move. Amelia Bedelia loved to ride around town with her parents. It was fun to wonder what was inside other people's houses. Where are we going today? asked Amelia Bedelia. We are house hunting, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Amelia Bedelia looked out her window. The houses are not hiding, she said. I see one, two, three, four. Hunting for houses is easy. We are looking for houses that are for sale, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Look at that pretty Tudor house. Our house has two doors, said Amelia Bedelia. We have a front door, a back door, and a garage door, said her father. That's right, said Amelia Bedelia. We live in a three-door house. A two-door style house looks like an English home in the Middle Ages, explained Amelia's mother. There were many kings and queens in the Tudor family, said her father. Let's look for a colonial house, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Colonial style homes have been popular since the American Revolution, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Hey, look, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. That ranch is having an open house. Let's go in, said her father. Hooray, said Amelia Bedelia. I love horses. During holidays, Amelia Bedelia's parents always had an open house party. Friends and neighbors were free to stop by any time. It didn't look as though there was a party here. The house was quiet. Are we the first ones? said Amelia Bedelia. The front door swung wide open. Welcome home, said a smiling woman with the name tag marked Jill. Oh, I don't live here, said Amelia Bedelia. I live at my house. We came to look at your house. Well, come right in, said Jill. Jill gave Amelia Bedelia a piece of paper. Here are some facts about the house she said, but I'm not the owner. I'm an agent. Amelia Bedelia whispered in her mother's ear. Her mother smiled and said, No, sweetie, Jill is not a spy. Not all agents are secret agents. Let me show you around, said Jill. What are you looking for? We are running out of room, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. We need about 600 more square feet said her father. Amelia Bedelia knew her father had two flat feet. Why did he want so many square ones? Let's go upstairs, said Amelia Bedelia. I want to pick out my bedroom. A ranch style house does not have an upstairs, said her father. A ranch house is built like a house on the ranch out west. So where do we sleep? asked Amelia Bedelia. On this floor, said her mother. The house has hardwood floors, said Jill. It sure does, said Amelia Bedelia. The floors are really hard. Amelia Bedelia had an idea. While her parents toured the house, she would hunt for the horses. Where's the backyard? asked Amelia Bedelia. Go through the mudroom said Jill, pointing to a door. There wasn't any mud in the mudroom, just places to store coats and boots. Amelia Bedelia opened the back door. She could see the tutor and the colonial. She could see two dogs in the garden. Where were the horses hiding? Come take a look downstairs, said Jill. This house has a full basement. 
Our basement was full once, said Amelia Bedelia. It flooded when a pipe broke. This basement is finished, said Jill. So is ours, said Amelia Bedelia. There's a huge wreck room, said Jill. Our whole basement was wrecked, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's parents came downstairs. Aha, here you are, said Amelia Bedelia's father. What a great recreation room, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Lots of space for fun and games, said Amelia Bedelia. Thanks for stopping by, said Jill. Now that I know what you want, I'll keep my ear to the ground. Amelia Bedelia's stomach growled. Jill must have heard it. Her father did. Lunch time, said Amelia Bedelia's father. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Then let's go, said Amelia Bedelia. You won't find a horse at this ranch. Well, I hope Amelia Bedelia and her parents find the perfect house for them. Our next book that we are going to read today is called The Buddy Bunch. The Buddy Bunch. Old friends. It was the first day of school. Padma was ready early. She waited outside for her friends. Have you been out here all night? asked Henry. No, said Padma, but I can't wait for school to start. Here come May, Lily, and Pablo, said Henry. Finally, said Padma, let's go. At school, they looked for their classroom. Oh no, Lily said. We are all in the same class, but not Padma. I'm next door, said Padma. You will be all alone, said Lily. It's okay, said Padma. I like to make new friends. At lunch, Padma sat with her old friends. I see some of the kids in my class, said Padma. She waved them over to the table. I'm Pablo, said Pablo. Hi, said Padma's new friends. At recess, everyone played games. Padma played with her old friends. Padma played with her new friends. They all jumped rope together. It was a great first day of school. Buddy Bench One day Padma saw a new boy standing alone by the fence. I wonder why he's all alone, she said to Lily. It's not easy for everyone to make new friends, said Lily. The boy left before they could say hi. I have an idea, said Padma. Let's make a place where kids can go if they feel lonely. What kind of place? asked May. We could make a buddy bench, said Padma. Let's paint the bench, said Henry. Let's paint it yellow and purple, said Lily. Let's make a sign. Then everyone will know where to go to meet new friends, said Padma. We need to ask Principal Hart, said Pablo. They went to the principal's office. Principal Hart said the buddy bench was a great idea. On Saturday, they painted the bench. They made a buddy bench sign. The sign says, meet new friends here. Then Padma made up a song about the bench. Need a new friend, hop on over to the buddy bench. They sang the words as they jumped roped. Need a friend? Hop on over to the buddy bench. After a few days, everyone was singing the song, but no one sat on the buddy bench. New friends. Weeks passed and still no one sat on the buddy bench. Then one day Padma saw the new boy sitting on the buddy bench. Let's go, said Padma to her friends. Hi, I'm Padma, said Padma. What's your name? Xander, said the boy. Hi, said May. Did you just move here? Yes, my mom is an army pilot, said Xander. We move around a lot. 
Moving is not always fun," said Lily. "It's hard to make new friends." "We would like to be your friends," said Padma. "Do you want to play?" asked Xander. "I like slides." "Me too," said Padma. Padma played with her old friends. Padma played with her new friends. They all played together. Padma and her classmates had a really good idea. I like it. I think more schools should have a buddy bench. What do you guys think? All right. So our last book for today that we will be reading is Amelia Bedelia hits the trail. Amelia Bedelia hits the trail. Amelia Bedelia was going hiking. Her entire class was going too. Let's hit the trail," said Miss Edwards, Amelia Bedelia's teacher. The trail was steep; everyone stepped over a big tree root. Amelia Bedelia was chatting and looking up at the birds, and splat! Amelia Bedelia fell flat on her face. "Are you okay?" asked Miss Edwards. "I'm okay," said Amelia Bedelia. But the next time I hit the trail, I'll use this stick instead of my face. Amelia Bedelia and her friends spotted lots of living things along the trail. They saw a deer and a rabbit. They saw squirrels and chipmunks. They saw insects crawling along the ground and flying in the air. Birds chirped in the trees. When a snake crossed the trail, Chip let out a yell. Relax," said Penny. "It is more scared of you than you are of it." The class walked slowly. "Let's move a little faster," said Miss Edwards. "Pick up your snail's pace." Amelia Bedelia looked for her snail with a pace to pick up. Maybe she could find one for the classroom nature table. "I'm hungry," said Clay. "Can we eat lunch?" Miss Edwards read her map. "There is a stream ahead." She said, "We can stop there for a bite." I have lots of bites," said Amelia Bedelia. "I can see water," said Penny. The class raced to the stream. "We'll eat lunch on the bank. Dig in," said Miss Edwards. Amelia Bedelia didn't see a bank, or even a cash machine. Was there treasure buried here? Why else would Miss Edwards tell them to dig in? It was time to go back to school. Wade was the last one to finish his lunch. Let's go, Wade," said Miss Edwards. "Yay," said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia took off her shoes and socks and waded right into the stream. Soon everyone was splashing with Amelia Bedelia. Even Miss Edwards joined the fun. As they walked back, everyone found things for the nature table. Daisy picked a daisy. Holly plucked a spring of holly. Rose found a wild rose. Amelia Bedelia picked up fallen leaves. What did you find, Amelia Bedelia? asked Miss Edwards. These are my leaves," said Amelia Bedelia. Miss Edwards smiled. When you have more than one leaf. You say leaves," she said. That made sense to Amelia Bedelia. In the fall, every leaf had to leave its tree. Amelia Bedelia knew she would not think any more of a leaf falling off a tree. She would think it was leaving its tree. Nice leaves," said Skip. "You have maple, oak." And chestnut," he said. Skip knew a lot about trees. "What is this red one?" asked Amelia Bedelia. "Oh,"、uh、oh," said Skip. "That is poison ivy." "Yeah!" Amelia Bedelia threw the leaves up in the air. Her leaves were leaving again. Skip laughed so hard he fell on the ground. "I was joking," he said. Amelia Bedelia was not laughing. That was a mean trick, she said. Maybe you should take a hike," said Skip. 
I am, said Amelia Bedelia, and now I don't have anything for the nature table. Amelia Bedelia's lip trembled. I'm sorry, Amelia Bedelia, said Skip. He helped Amelia Bedelia pick up her leaves. Hold still, Skip said. Are you teasing again? asked Amelia Bedelia. No, you have a hitchhiker, said Skip. He pointed at a caterpillar. The caterpillar was crawling on Amelia Bedelia's backpack. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's caterpillar was the star of the nature table. Then it was the star of Amelia Bedelia's classroom. The sign says, Nature Table, Things We Found on Our Hike. Oh, look. Looks like the caterpillar is turning into a butterfly. Cool. Until it hit the trail. The end. That's a pretty butterfly. You guys like to go on a hike with your parents or friends? So fun. It's kind of rainy today. Otherwise, maybe I'd go on one, but maybe next time. Well, thank you so much for coming on my channel again. Please like and subscribe if you like the stories. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye!